السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. We are welcome to this episode. Um, we are still on the tamiz and we are looking at the hukm tamiz. Basically, we are looking at the ahkam of the different forms of the tamiz that we have. And then we've looked at the hukm tamiz al wazn wal kail wal misaha. And we are going to look at the hukm tamiz al adad. As we saw in the main topic at Tamiz, we realized that there is Tamiz that comes for added also. So the numbers, sometimes they also come as Mumayyas that they require Tamiz. And so here we are going to look at the um, nature of the, or the rulings, grammatical rulings of the Tamiz of the added. Here we have the حكم تمييز العدد basically على أمثلة he says غرست ثلاث شجرات غرست غرست بمعنى to plant like زرع but recently a friend she asked me about the difference فوزية a very hard working lady she asked me about the difference between غرس and then زرع and uh, I think it's proper I give it out here also when we say زرع mostly we are talking about planting seeds you have a seed and you plant it, that is zara'a. But garasa is when you have a plant. When you have a plant, a small plant, and then you put it in, and it becomes a tree. It becomes a big tree. That is where you have garasa. Okay, so it says, garastu thalasa shajaratin. I planted three plants. Okay, three trees or three plants. So here is going to be one type of tamiz. This part is going to be one type of tamiz, and then also this part is also going to be one type before this and what comes below. It says, Garas to Thalatha Shajaratin, I kill to Arba to Fahatin, I ate four fruits, uh, four apples to Fahat, apples. Ishtaray to Hamsata Aklamin, I bought five pens. Fil Osbu is Saba to Ayamin, in a week there are seven days. في المسجد عشرة في المسجد عشرة أعمدة in the masjid there are uh, ten pillars there are ten pillars in the building of the masjid look at the word عشرة mostly when it comes to the tau marbuta the shin takes skun عشرة but when it comes with without tau marbuta بمعنى masculine you say عشرة okay as in أحد عشرة كوكبا إني رأيت أحد عشرة كوكبا so when it comes without the tau marbuta, bimana, when it comes masculine, you hear ashara. But when it comes with tau marbuta, it becomes ashara too. Jamil? Okay. So when you look at the numbers here, you realize that we have four, uh, three, four, five, six, and then ten. Ten. Okay. Three, four, five, seven, and ten. Basically to tell you numbers from three to ten. Numbers from three to ten. He's categorizing the numbers. And then we come here, we see Ra'aytu ahada ashara farisan. I saw 11, uh, just as I mentioned with the ashara, you see here, without Tau Marbuta, the shin has fatha. So I saw um, 11 horsemen. Faris is a horseman, or a warrior. Fishajarati tis ata ashara gusunan. In the plant, there are 19 branches. Gusun is branch. في الشهر ثلاثون يوما in a month there are 30 days في الشجرة إحدى وأربعون برتقالة in the plant or في هي بمعنى على الشجرة on the plant there are 40 440 oranges برتقالة oranges says في البستان تسع وتسعون نخلة in the garden, Bustan is garden, there are 99 there are 99 palm trees. There are 99 palm trees in the garden. What kind of numbers are we talking about in this chamber? We are talking about here, he mentioned 11, he mentioned 19, he mentioned 13, that is 30, he mentions 40, and then he comes to mention 99. 
basically numbers between 11 to 99 numbers from 11 to 99 they also has have their own specific ruling which you come to clarify and then we come here we see fil qintari mi'atu rattlin qintar if you've not forgotten we met it up there where we said it is quintal okay quintal this we talked about it here quintal that is it is also called a hundredth weight a hundredth weight that is a hundred pounds quintal is equivalent of hundred pounds so here he explains this says fil qintari in a quintal mi'atu rattlin there are hundred pounds so there are hundred pounds in a quintal Rakiba Safina to me ata musafirin. A hundred travelers got on the ship as Safina. Rakiba as Safina, we manage to ride on the ship or to get on the ship. Me ata musafirin. Me ata musafirin, sorry, 200 travelers. Me ata musafirin, 200 travelers. Kota al Ketaru, Hamsumea. Uh, meal قطع القطار خمسمائة ميل ميل in بمعنى ميل in. the train crossed a distance of قطع here بمعنى not cut when we are talking about distance and we use قطع بمعنى to cross a distance of so the train crossed a distance of 500 miles 500 miles let's look at this he says في الحديقة ألف شجرة in the garden there are a thousand plants and I've mentioned the difference between Al-Bustan, where is it? We found Al-Bustan here, this Al-Bustan, and then Al-Hadiqa. I've said that Al-Hadiqa is a garden that has a fence. A garden that has a fence is called Hadiqa, and a garden without a fence is called Bustan. And we've mentioned this difference in the al qiraat al rashida lessons. If you are not following, you could do that. It helps with a lot of vocabularies and expressions. So, in the garden, there are a thousand plants or trees. The distance of the uh, room or the house, Adar is good for room, house, abode, it goes for all. So, he says, Okay. So, the or basically, let's say the compound, the house, the area of the house, Misaha Bimana, the area of the house is 2000 cubits. 2000 cubits. Alpha Bimana Alfani, Zira'in. But Alpha here is Mudaf. And when a word is Mudaf and it is dual, the noon goes off. When it is plural also, the noon of plural goes off. Fisaha til Qitali, in the field of fighting or in the war field, Sahat al-Kital, Yimana, war field, or the field of fight, Thalatha to Alafi Jundiyin, 3,000 soldiers, 3,000 soldiers. So what I will do is that let's quickly read the bath, and then I will go back and clarify to you how the bath applies to the Al-Amthila. He says, Ta'amal asma al-adad fil aqsam al-thalatha titajiduha fil qism al-awwal, Tajri min thalathati ila ashara, as I've mentioned. You look at the numbers and you realize that from the first example, from the five, first five examples, I think, I think they are in fives, right? Five, yeah, first five examples. You realize that the numbers are from three to ten. It says, Ma'a mura'ati anna asqatna ba'd al-a'adad ragbatan fil ikhtisar. He says that whilst we are noticing, making sure or focusing on the numbers, the range of the numbers, looking at the fact that the numbers are ranging from 3 to 10, Ma'amura'ati, paying attention to the fact that Anna Askatna, that we've dropped, Askata to drop, Anna Askatna Ba'adal A'adad, that we've dropped some numbers, Ragbatan fil ikhtisar, in desire of being. Um, summarizing it, okay, اختصار بمعنى making it small. We are not now going to mention example for three, mention example for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, we just mention example for a few numbers, but then we make sure that it covers the range. So he says that 
we drop some numbers in desire or seeking to make the thing um, small or summarize it or kind of shorten, shorten it. Okay. Ma amuraati anna askatna, paying attention to the fact that we've dropped ba'ad al adad some numbers, ragbatan fil ikhtisar, in desire of um, making the thing brief. وتجدها في القسم الثاني and in the second قسم that is the second five تجري من أحد عشرة you find it from أحد عشرة there is من but then we say أحد عشرة because these two numbers numbers from 11, um, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 those two parts are مبني على الفتح جزئين both parts are always فتحة فتحة so you say من أحد عشرة إلى تسعة وتسعين so from 11 also to 19, the second five examples, they range from 11 to 19. Here also, paying attention to the fact that we've dropped a lot of the numbers because we can't mention 11, 12, 13, 14 up to 99. So we just mention a few as an example for you. Ragbatan fil ikhtisar aydan. In desire of being brief. Again. He says, وَتَجِدُهَا فِي الْقِسْمِ الثَّالِثِ تَدُورُ حَوْلَ لَفْظَيْنِ And then you find it in the third part. تَدُورُ حَوْلَ It revolves around. Take this expression. تَدُورُ حَوْلَ بِمَانَا It revolves around لَفْظَيْنِ Two words. And these two alphas, two, these two لَفْظَيْنِ They are هُمَا مِئَةٌ وَعَلْفٌ The two numbers that we deal with in the um, third part is the Mea wa alfun. This is this part he's talking about. You have mea here, you have mea ta, 100, 200, you have khamsu mea, still mea. And then you come here, you have alfun, and then you have alfa 2000, and then you have salasa alaf, also 3000 or 3000. So he's saying that you realize that the third part also, the numbers are revolving around. Hundred and thousand. Says, hazi al asma. When you look at the tamiz of these nouns, these nouns we mana hazi al adad. These numbers. Wajatahu fil kism al awal jam an majruran. You find it in the first part. It is plural and also majrur. I will go up and clarify. Just read it. Wa fil kism al thani mufrad an mansuban. The second part you find it to be mufrad mansuban, singular and mansub. وفي القسم الثالث مفردا مجرورا and in the third part where we deal with hundred thousands the tamiz is singular and majrur. Before we read the qaida let me clarify the thing very well for you up here again. Now pay attention here. Numbers from 3 to 10. I've treated this in the um, I think that will be the is it the Adrumiya or where? No, we have this lesson that I'm running on WhatsApp. I'm teaching this Durus Loga Arabia, the Medina Arabic book on WhatsApp. And I think this is where I explain this concept. Numbers from 3 to 10. When you mention them, the thing that you are counting comes after them. So you are counting cars. You want to say 4 cars, 5 cars, 3 cars, four, uh, 6 cars, 7 cars, up to 10 cars. You consider the gender of the thing that you are counting. Okay. Though this is not discussed here. But let me bring it in. You consider the gender of the thing that you are counting. Is it masculine or feminine? First. If the thing is masculine. The number should be feminine. How does the number become feminine? By giving the number tau marbota. So if I want to count boys. Awlad. Walad is masculine. So the number if the boys are five, I will say khamsatu awladin. Khamsatu. Pay attention to the fact that I've given the number tau marbota. Khamsatu awladin. I'm saying khamsatu because the awlad that I'm counting is masculine. In the ruling of numbers, that is how it goes. When you are counting from three to ten, and the thing you are counting is masculine, make the number feminine. If the thing you are counting is feminine, make the number masculine. There is a qaida, I will just say it's randomly, if you are able to listen repeatedly and memorize. They say that Al-A'adad min al-Thalatha Al-A'adad min al-Thalatha ila al-Ashara 
أو أعداد من ثلاث إلى عشر أو إلى عشر just to make the kaida very very clear al adad numbers min thalatha from three ila ashara from num numbers from three to ten to khaliful ma'dud goes against the ma'dud the thing that is being counted fit tadkiri wa ta'nisi in terms of masculinity and femininity so the ruling is al adad min thalatha ila ashara to khalif al ma'dud fi tadkir wa ta'nis numbers from 3 to 10 go against the thing that you are counting in terms of its gender so you see that very clearly here that is the first one secondly the thing you are counting should come in plural so you want to say three boys the boys should come in plural so you want to count boys you say khamsatu awladin third the thing you are counting should come as majroor. Okay, it should come as majroor. Bimana, it should take kasra. So, from the example we have here, we see thalath. Why is it thalath and not thalathatu? Just like khamsatu, sabatu, asharatu. Why are these numbers thalatha and arba'a without tau marbuta? Because the thing that is being counted here. The thing that is being counted here. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, uh, something just interrupted. Uh, though you didn't feel it. So here, you see that the number Salath, Arba'a, they do not have Tamar, but they are masculine. Why are they masculine? Because the thing that they are counting are feminine. Shajara, Shajaratun is feminine. Tufahatun is feminine. And so the numbers, they should come as masculine. We are talking about numbers from 3 to 10. That is it. And then look at the thing that is being counted. They all come in plurals. Shajaratin, Tufahatin, Aqlamin. They come in plurals and they come majroor. Kesra. Okay. Kesra. They all have Kesra. And then when you look here, you see Shtaray to Khamsata Aqlamin. Why is it Khamsata with Tau Marbut here? Why is the number feminine? Because the thing that is being counted is masculine. Aqlam is the plural of Qalamun. Qalamun is masculine. Sabatu ayyam. Why is it Sabatu? Because ayyam is the plural of Yawmun and Yawmun is masculine. Just like Asharatu Aamida. Aamida is singular is Ahmad. Okay. Ahmadun I think. And so the singular is um, masculine. That is why the number came as feminine. Okay. And then he says that, so you look at the Tamiz here. Tamiz, when we say Tamiz here in terms of this portion, we are talking about Tamiz in terms of language, the thing that differentiates it for us. Okay? The thing that differentiates it for us. So we have um, Shajaratin here. In S Arab, you say Mudaf ilayhi majroor. Tufahatin, we say mudaf ilayhi majroor. Aqlamin mudaf ilayhi majroor. So the tamiz of numbers from 3 to 10, they come as mudaf ilayhi majroor. They come as mudaf ilayhi majroor. Let's look at this portion. These are numbers from um, 11 to 99. Numbers from 11 to 99, everything in between there, the tamiz there comes as singular and also Mansub. It comes as what? Singular and mansub. So you see, Ahada Ashara Farisan. It's not Ashara the same way that it will go. But there is something that I need to make you see here. You realize that though the topic of numbers, I think we need to let certain things go. The topic of numbers, inshallah, would be treated, I think, somehow on its own. Inshallah. We will make sure to do that. So basically, the Tamiz of numbers from 11 to um, 99 is singular and also mansub. Singular and mansub. Farisan, Gusnan, Yawman, Burtukalatan, Nakhlatan. As against this part that we saw that they are plural and also majroor. And then the terms of hundreds, numbers in hundreds and numbers in thousands, 
they are also singular and majrur. So, me atu retlin, me ata musafirin, khamsu me amilin, alfu shajaratin, alfa zirain, thalathatu alafu jundiyin. So, you see, numbers in hundreds and thousands also have their uh, tamiz coming as mudaf ilayhi majrur. So, here, you say tamiz mansub, tamiz mansub. The first part, 3 to 10, you say mudaf ilayhi majrur. When you come to the hundreds and the thousands, you say mudaf ilayhi majrur. In terms of meaning, that is the tamyiz. In terms of Arab, you mention the mudaf ilayhi, if it is majrur. And then the qaida says, tamyiz al-adadi yajibu jarruhu jam'an ma'at thalathati wal-asharati. So when the numbers are from thalatha ila ashara, 3 to 10, the tamyiz must be plural and also majrur. That's why it says, yajibu. يجب جره جمعا it must be majroor جره بمعنى it must be made majroor it must take kasra جمعا and also it must be plural from 3 to 10 and he says that وما بينهما 3, 10 and what falls in between them ونسبح مفردا and the tamiz must be mansub مفردا and singular mansub مفرد with which numbers? Ma ahad ashara what is atin what is in. Okay. For 10, 11 to 99. Numbers that fall in between them. Wama baina huma. Wa jarruhu mufradan ma al meati wal alif. And also you make it majrur mufrad when the numbers are in hundreds and in thousands. You have to make it singular and majrur. Just memorize this qaida. Okay, tamiz al-adadi yajibu jarruhu jam'an ma'a thalathati wal asharati wa ma baynahuma wa nasbuhu mufradan ma'a ahada ashara wa tis'atin wa tis'ina wa ma baynahuma wa jarruhu mufradan ma'a al-mi'ati wal alif. And do not forget the qaida that I mentioned ala adad min al-thalathati ila al-asharati to khalif al-ma'adud fi al-tadkir wa al-ta'anis. It's a simple qaida that you need to memorize. Okay, in our next meeting, we look at hukm tamiz. Iza kan al mumayyaz malhuzan. We enter some other um, room, inshallah. So, till we meet again, don't forget to like, don't forget to share. If the lessons have been beneficial to you, let others also benefit. Till we meet again, have a very good Arabic time. If you have any questions, do not hesitate. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.